This planet is alive. It has a physiology, and its integrity can only be maintained if all of its organs and tissues are healthy. And when you see the world as a living being, then you start to think, okay, each of these beings, rivers, forests, whales, these are an organ. These have a role to play in maintaining health. When we understand Earth is alive, we have to respect and take care of all of its organs. The crisis, and it's bigger than a climate crisis, it's a full-scale ecological crisis. It is calling on us toward a much deeper revolution than merely finding a cleverer way to power industrial civilization. When's it gonna stop? It's not gonna stop by itself. It's gonna stop when we see nature differently, we relate differently, and we understand our purpose here differently. No longer the conquerors, no longer separate. Anyone who is in denial of this is a denier. Whether you believe in climate change or not, we are relationship. We are interconnected, interdependent, and interexistent. What we do to the world, we do to ourselves. What we do to the other, we do to ourselves. We're beginning to understand that. That's what we're being initiated into. So the important question then is not, what do we need to do to survive? The question we need to be asking, what world do we want to live in? A living world? or a dead world. I think that both futures are possible. I can see the concrete world, scarred and ruined, and I can see a more beautiful world, a flourishing world, where the deserts are greening and the species are coming back. The oceans are full of fish and flocks of birds cover the sky and humans living peacefully on it. Which one are we gonna experience in our future? Which one are our great, 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 great grandchildren gonna live in? That depends on which one we summon.